Test, test, test. Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel, Strengths and Death. Per your guys' request and uh, as promised, today I did. I decided to make a video regarding the topic why I I didn't choose to stay um, in Sydney, Australia, as an an unlawful non-citizen. Um, first of all and foremost, why didn't I? choose to leave the country for a while, choose to de depart from the country for a while, is because, um, you know, that was for the best interest of mine, um, for myself and uh, for my for my old man. You know, because um, I I hadn't seen my, my old man and uh, my grandma and uh, some of uh, my uh, my uncles, aunties, cousins for quite a couple of years. They all mi they all miss me quite a lot, and uh, you know I just don't want I just don't want them to suffer. And uh, you know, and uh, last year, you know, since in 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 year two thousand and fourteen, although I did manage to make s some serious bucks from the from the small business that I managed to establish, uh, which is a uh, computer and IT business, you know, mostly I designed, uh, you know, templates, web forms, web apps for some small business entities such as so traders, small companies, small proprietary limited companies. Though it it uh, didn't it didn't make me much money. I managed to survive on my own somehow for for quite a, you know for for nearly three years, but then the business be, began to decline. So my old man supported me financially, and uh, you know that I you know seeing from nowadays from the present perspective that if um, you know hadn't I had I chosen to stay in Australia indefinitely as a non-lawful as a unlawful non-citizen that could could have killed my dad my old man so that's uh, there are two uh, reasons already here I give you the third one was um, since I didn't you know I stayed in Sydney in Australia you know for pretty much like you know nearly four years nearly half a decade without Get, um, getting the opportunity to see the uh, the outside world, um, you know, since you know, in Japanese there's a word there's a specific um, word to describe your current, you know, usually unpleasant situation. It's called the nagale. Nagale it means it. Uh, I suppose it, it basically means you know your you know your car once you once you can't change your current status you can't change you know your environment then just change yourself you know try to move to another place to another city you know or furthermore to another country then you know you begin to see more good in yourself you know to see more good to see more things to look forward to once you move to another country you know you know once once you manage to you know, to switch the environment, you begin to to liberate yourself from you know from that depressing and frustrating uh, situation where it you know in general specifically to that particular timing and particular place. Once you know, once you remove the um, the degrading degenerative factors or or. Per, um, parameters. Once you neutralize the rogue elements, you will begin to see the positive change of, of your life, of pretty much everything. Yeah. So, so, so I hope I, I, I have made my, my point clear re regarding the third um, reason. So here's the fourth fourth reason. Yeah. Um, during during my um, life of exile in Sydney, Australia, after I got um, I got kicked out from my de degree of Bachelor of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at the University of Sydney, 
I I have to say it's really you know it's really gave me a shot you know a uh, shot in the leg shot in the ass so it's also a pain in the ass in the mean in the meantime yeah I it really took me quite a while to admit my failure it's and uh, it also took me quite a while to accept the failure to admit the fact that I have failed to you know to meet the course the academic progression requirement they call it yeah but still it 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 stays it re remains true until that day that um yeah so then you know the the food you know i you know from time to time while i was in sydney australia after my you know after i got kicked from uni i just ate um ramen um some spicy thai fried rice you know vegetable fried rice cooked at Thai uh, restaurants and uh, you know I also couldn't cook that well and uh, I always spend I always I, I, I tend to spend lots of money just buying takeaway food and uh, it, it really cost me quite quite a lot of money and I, I I believe for for you guys who you know who lived in Sydney or who who for you know to to those who was born in Sydney you know you guys know much better you guys know much better you guys know far better than I do that takeaway food in Sydney really costs you an exorbitant amount of money if you if, you know the, the 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 if the effect is accumulative once you know it's compounded once you buy takeaway food pretty much every day for every meal you know ready once you buy the ready made take takeaway food. Yeah, it, it really costs you so much, and uh, it doesn't offer much variety. Uh, or I should, or I should say, it didn't offer you much variety to to choose. Um, in sin. but but still, I now though I now be, begin to miss foods in Sydney, especially especially Japanese foods in Sydney and Thai fried rice in Sydney. But yeah, it's the fourth reason why why I chose not to become. Um, not to become an unlawful non-citizen staying indefinitely in Sydney, Australia, trying to get myself a, a legitimate identity or a legitimate resident um, residential status. Yeah. So for for those who may may wish to stay in Sydney or stay in other major Australian cities as a non lawful or unlawful non citizen i do caution you guys if you really decided if you have made up your mind to stay in australia while your visa expired and uh, you you or you didn't get a visa at all while you enter australia do think it twice double twice you know triple twice quadruple twice because it's really once you choose, once you choose that option, it's really um, you will get overwhelmed. Uh, pretty much, the only um, option left for you to become lawful is to marry. Is to marry um, someone who is an Aussie or who has the permanent residency, permanent visa to stay to stay in Australia. Anyway, yeah. And uh, I would also like to make a prayer of for to make a prayer um, video for 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 those who are currently struggling either financially or in, in terms of trying to get their legitimate visa or their legitimate residency my migration status in Australia. Um, if if there are quite a quite a few of you you guys who needs that prayer um outspoken i shall do it i shall do it free definitely free of charge because it's it's doing the lord's work so do feel free to make your to 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 write your comments your feedbacks your critics below this video clip and uh thank you guys for watching and and uh listening
And as always, God bless, stay awesome, and I shall see you on the next video on YouTube. Have a great day, have a great night, and uh, stay awesome. Bye-bye.